we as a society hundreds of years ago decided that it is not right to prosecute individuals with mental illness when they commit crimes. That doesn't mean that they can just go home and all is right. It means that they need to get the right treatment, but be allowed a chance to reintegrate into the community again. We're here to um, treat the patient, um, get their symptoms back into remission if we can, uh, provide as much support within the hospital uh, that we can support them, and to really rehabilitate them uh, here in the hospital and to support their transition back to, the, back to the community if we can do so safely. We're a hospital. We're dealing with people who've come to us with severe mental illnesses, and we are given the mandate by the review board to treat those illnesses, get people better, return them to the community safely so that they become productive members of the community again. The Review Board of BC mandates that public safety must always be the focus when an individual receives treatment. But the second part of the mandate is reintegration into the community. Therefore, it is important that the treatment a patient receives always keeps that goal in mind. A part of the goal of recovery is gradually providing opportunities for exposure back to the community so that people can experiment with coping outside of the hospital. But we can't just have someone be in a hospital and then be discharged to the community. There need to be a series of steps that allow for practicing, that allow for supervision, that allow for support in the community, and opportunities to learn how to live in the community in a graduated way. A community visit starts with planning. There's lots of research done, there's lots of assessments done, and just like you go on a roof with a harness and a well-planned, um, trained person who can execute that work, that is how an individual also gets access to the community. Community access is gonna be managed by our staff. We have clinical staff, nursing staff, and rehab staff who will escort our patients into the community. Every visit is a therapeutic one. We're trying to make sure that people are well enough to move to the next level of community access, as well as staying safe and keeping the public safe. Part of the planning of entering the community is, is asking if this person's presence will have an impact. Therefore, uh, communicating to specific people, for instance, the victims or the victim's family or the patient's family before that entry in the community happens may be part of the planning. These are people who really struggle with the most severe uh, forms of mental illness and they need to have an opportunity to live the best life that they can live. And I think everyone deserves that and I think that our patients deserve that and that uh, we want to provide that to them. Individuals who are admitted to this hospital start a journey. That journey is a journey of hope, not just for the patient, but for family, for the victims and for the public at large.